lifestyle. Now, here are your hosts, Shardell Moore and Christina Denny. Let's talk about our skin itself. Yeah. It is our largest organ. But real talk, oftentimes we forget to take care of it. It's true. Skin cancer, in many cases, is a treatable and preventable condition for many patients. Here to tell us more is Dr. Ciro Martins. Welcome. Thank you for being with us. Thanks nice for having me. Again, doctor. Nice to see you again, So how common are skin cancer? Skin cancers are extremely common. They're actually the most common type of cancer affecting Americans. Oh, so, wow. If you look at the numbers, one out of five Americans will develop skin cancer in their lifetime. And there are wow. different forms as different well. Different types. If you look at melanoma, which is the most deadly form of skin cancer, mm -hmm. thank goodness it's not the most common type of skin cancer, but one American dies of melanoma approximately every hour throughout oh the year. So it's a serious problem that needs to be addressed. Yes, definitely. And are certain populations of people affected more by certain types of cancers? Uh, yes, there are. I mean, skin cancers can affect everybody, including the darkest shades of brown. Mm -hmm. uh, but mostly the light-colored skin people, people who with light-colored eyes, uh, that freckle easily, people with natural blonde or natural red hair, those are more prone to developing skin cancers. In terms of melanoma, people with more than 50 moles on their body, they're also more prone to developing melanoma. Mm -hmm. And definitely, you know, a history of, a family history of melanoma is a big, a big red flag also. So what can we do to actually prevent this disease? Okay, so skin cancers, by the vast majority, they are caused by ultraviolet exposure, mm -hmm. okay? So the number one thing you should do is to prevent exposure to the ultraviolet. And the way to do that, number one, is to use sunscreens all the time. And it's not only when you go to the sun. I, I usually recommend to my patients uh, to uh, use a moisturizing face lotion with SPF on a daily basis. Even in the winter? Even in the winter, even when That's it's enough. raining outside, when it's snowing outside, make a habit out of it. Put it on every morning and that's going to prevent a lot of sun damage to the face, hands, and prevent skin cancer and skin aging. Mm, yes, um, looking younger. Yes, <laughs> that's uh, something that appeals to a lot of people. So, <laughs> so d definitely the sunscreens are number one. Uh, stay out of the sun from 10 and 2 p.m., which is the more uh, intense ultraviolet exposure that you can get. Uh, always try to wear protect protective clothing, uh, wear a hat whenever possible, and never try to get a tan. Never try to get a tan. A tan means that your skin is injured. Uh, the, uh, the way to prevent uh, melanomas is uh, to be checked by a dermatology as well, mm -hmm. by a dermatologist on a yearly basis. You can either go to your dermatologist once a year uh, or every two years, most more preferably every year, or you can have self-skin checks. You can look at your own skin and look for signs of melanoma. And the American Academy of Dermatology has developed the ABCDs E's of melanoma, A, B, C, D, E. A is for asymmetry, mm -hmm. uh, B is for border, mm -hmm. C is for color, D for diameter, and E for evolution. So wow. moles that have irregular borders, one side looks different than the other side, you start seeing finger-like projections or you know scalloped edges on the moles, uh, something that grows fast, meaning it doubles in size in a couple of months, those things are suspicious and part of the ABCDEs of melanoma. So keep that in mind also. This is yes, great a lot information. Of to look at for so you can check yourself. Now, going back to sunscreens, are there specific sunscreens that we should or should not use? For instance, should we use above a certain SPF? Or are there certain ingredients that we should avoid? Well, actually, uh, there's a couple of things that are important when you're talking about sunscreens. One of them is the SPF, which mm -hmm. is the, the, the degree of protection that the sunscreens protect uh, provide. Um, you should not need to use anything above 30 if you apply enough sunscreens. Yeah. The problem is most people do not apply enough. They apply a little droplet here, a little droplet here, and spread it very thin. So an SPF 30 becomes an F SPF of 10. I see. And yeah. so if you apply enough, and to keep in mind, per application, what you have to apply is the volume of a golf ball. Oh, that's or a lot more than I use. Or the volume 
or a of a shot glass, depending really? if you're a sports person or a drinker, wow. you have to remember <laughs> a shot glass or a golf ball. But that's the volume per application. If you do less than that, you're not covering yourself, then it's safer to use something higher like SPF 50. Gotcha. And the other thing that's important to know is you should always go for something that is water resistant, yeah, that important. lasts longer. Well, thank you so much, Doctor. That's this great is great advice. information. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, you. Learn some new stuff, Christina. Keeping us healthy and looking Looking younger. Yes, love it. <laughs>